welcome back to my channel. Today's look is going to be on this beautiful sunset, sitting by the beach side look. So yeah, I just kind of created this sunset-esque look on the lids. We've got some red, we've got some orange, we've got some yellow. And I'm doing the most with kind of trying to mimic this on the lips. I didn't show you how to do this on the lips, but if you'd like to know how to create an ombre lip, just let me know and I can do that for you. So I hope that you enjoy this look and don't forget to subscribe on your way out. Hey guys, so obviously I already have foundation, bronzer, I prime my eyes with my MAC uh, Soft Ochre Paint Pot. And I wanted to use this one because today's look is going to be like a orangey, yellow, smoky eye. I don't know. I just want to use those colors. I don't know what I'm going to create yet. So I know that I'm using those colors and I really want to make those colors pop. So that's why I use Soft Ochre, just so that it'll make those colors pop more and make them look a little bit more vibrant. So to start off this smoky, orangey, yellow eye, I don't know yet. I never know where I'm going to film. I just kind of sit here and do it. So... Sorry about that. I'm going to use my Morphe 35B palette. This is the colorful palette and I'm going to be using the yellow shade as my transition color. So it's just a yellow matte shade. And using my MAC 217 brush. And I'm just going to apply this into the crease and smoke this out. And I'm going back and forth and then I kind of do like circular motions just to really smoke this out. Okay, now that we have that yellow transition shade, we are looking super cute, you know, ready to go out. Just kidding, that was a little bit, but whatever. So yeah, um, now I'm going to go in with an orange shade and I could use this palette, but um, I'm going to use my Makeup Geek orange shadow and this one is called Morocco it's just like a burnt orangey color I want to use this one first to see how this looks but any orange shadow that you have will do of course so if you've been watching me you know I'll use the 217 but today I want to try a little bit different I'm feeling a little wild just kidding it's not that wild I'm just using a different blending brush and I'm using the Sigma Blending E25. It's it's a, just like a little smaller 217 and it's a little bit more tapered. So this is really going to ensure that I'm really getting into that crease and it's not really going to um, smoke it out. It's just really going to apply it more precisely. So I'm just applying this, like I said, in the crease, but a little bit lower than that yellow shade. This is gonna be probably like a sunset vibe look I don't know and then I'm taking my MAC 217 brush the one that I used to apply the yellow and I'm going to blend these two colors together I love these makeup geek shadows because they blend so beautifully and uh, they just they're so effortless they're really I think they're a really good shadow for beginners because like I said you really don't have to do much blending it kind of just blends out for you Okay, now that we have this orange blended out, I want to make it a little bit more intense, so I'm just going to apply a little bit more shadow just to see how bright I can get this. I want it a little bit darker and brighter, so I'm just applying it with that Sigma brush. And I'm going back and forth like so. Like I said, this brush isn't super fluffy, so it doesn't really blend out. It just kind of applies a product where you want it to. And now we're just going to blend this out with that MAC 217 brush. Okay, so now I'm going to apply that orange shade to the outer corner of my eye. And I'm using my Zoeva Luxe Petite Crease brush. This is a 231 brush. It's just a little domed brush. And I like it because it, like, it's really precise. So you can really pack on the color and blend it out. So I'm just applying this to the outer corner. And then I'm kind of like going back and forth to blend that out. And I can also take it up in here to the crease. I'm loving this so far. And I'm just kind of taking it to the middle. Um, I'm going to create a half cut crease so I don't need it 
bring it all the way inside because we are going to be cutting the crease. And if you don't know what that means, just hold on tight. Okay, so with any smoky eye, of course you have to blend everything out. So I'm taking my MAC 217 brush with no additional product and I'm just gonna kind of blend out this edge. Just so it doesn't look so choppy. And I feel like I need a little bit of more dimension. So I'm going to go in with, um, I think this shade, this one is called Bitten. And it's by Makeup Week as well. I'm just gonna add a little, little, little bit just to darken up this look just a tad. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna get my pencil brush. This is a Sigma Pencil E30. And I'm really, 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 really gonna tap this in like. And I'm gonna apply this into the crease. Okay, I need a little bit more product because it's not really showing up, so. Yeah, I like that. And MAC 217 brush. Gonna blend that out. Ooh, that's pretty. And I'm gonna add just a little bit to the other um, corner. And then blend that out as well. Can you see the difference? It just kind of gives it a little bit more dimension, makes it look a little bit darker and not super, super orange. I'm, I'm digging it. I am loving this. This is giving me like picture yourself with your significant other walking down the beach. You lean in. You're gonna kiss while this eye look is in the background. Now we're going to cut the crease. So um, to cut the crease, you need like a small uh, flat brush. And I'm just gonna use this Sigma Concealer F70 brush. Yeah, it's an F70 brush. And any concealer will do. You can use foundation, you can use concealer, um, or just whatever you want to. You don't have to listen to me, girl. So I'm just using my Maybelline Adri Wine Concealer. You could probably even use your um, eyeshadow base or primer. And I'm just applying a little bit onto the brush and I'm gonna cut the crease. So I don't want to go into the like crease in here. I uh, just want to keep it right below the crease. Okay, now whenever we get to where the orange and the concealer are gonna meet, we're kind of gonna blend it out a little bit, kind of uh, make making those two blend together and um, just kind of, like I said, just blending them together. Words I cannot say today. It's been a while since I filmed, so I'm just kind of like, a lot. So yeah, just kind of blend these two together so there's not a super sharp line in between them. Are you good? Okay, now that we have both of our lids cut and ready to kill a man, just kidding. Anyway. We are going to apply a yellow shade, and of course, you could use the yellow shade that's in the 35B palette. But I have this Makeup Geek one that I just got, and I wanted to use it. It's, I mean, it's just a freaking yellow, there's not much of a difference. But this one's called Lemon Drop. Make your panties drop. Just kidding, it's not called that, it's just called Lemon Drop. And it has a little bit of a shimmer to it, not much, but it's not completely matte. It's kind of a sheeny type shade, so that's why I want to use it, just to see what that looks like. So yeah, I'm just going to get a flat shader brush and apply that over the concealer that we just cut our lid with. And any flat shader brush will do. You can even use your finger if you wanted to. You could use your toe if you wanted to. I don't know. You do you, girl. So yeah, I'm just going to apply this and pack that on. Girl. All right, so I want to go back in with a little bit more orange and kind of blend the orange and the yellow together. So I'm just going to go back in with my 
a Zoeva brush and go into that Morocco shade. This is going to give it more of a gradient feel. Oh, yeah. What is that drink called? Uh, Texas Sunrise? Or, I don't know. That's what this is giving me. I might be completely wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of something else. I don't know. Living, uh, living for this look. Okay, so you can kind of see how I have like a dark orange, that orange, and then the yellow. Mm. I want to deepen up this a little bit more, so I'm going to go back in with that bit in color. And I'm going to go in with this brush, just those wave a brush. Because ain't no one got time to be using a clean brush, and you got to clean it later, and then you don't want to clean it later, and then when you want to use it, it's dirty because you don't want to clean it. So I'm just applying this to the outer corner, and I kind of blending it with that orange. And I'm going to go in the crease just a tad. And then blend it out. Alright, so as you can see, this yellow kind of just disappeared in this whole process. So I'm going to use the yellow from the 35B palette and just uh, go in with a little bit more yellow. And I'm gonna go into the crease. Like almost, it's kind of like, here's the crease, right? And then you kind of want to just smoke it out towards your brow bone. And go back and forth in circular motions. What is that drink called? I think something that is like Tequila Sunrise, Texas Sunrise, I don't know. I'm gonna look it up in a minute. So I think we are done with the lids. Now we're gonna go into the bottom lash line. And I think I'm gonna go in with, this is called Bitten, Bitten First. And I'm just taking like this little angled flat brush and I'm going to apply that to the lash line, like I just said. And I'm getting it super close to the lash line. It's almost gonna be like a liner in a way, but then we're gonna smoke it out. Now I'm taking a pencil brush, and this is a clean one. And I'm going to use the Morocco orange shade, and we're gonna just apply that right underneath that bit in color and smoke it out. So. Okay, now that that color is down, I'm just going to kind of clean it like from the back of my hand, my brush. And then I'm going to go in with that yellow color from the Morphe 35B palette. I can never open this thing. Okay, so yellow. Everyone knows what yellow looks like. I'm just going to apply that right underneath the Morocco color. Now, I could totally use my Morphe 35B palette for this whole look, but like I said, these Makeup Cake shadows just blend so nice, and the 35B aren't super pigmented. They are, but you really have to build them up, and they're kind of, they're kind of a little bit harder to blend than the Makeup Geek, but they're, it's not a bad palette, and I just got these shadows, so that's why I wanted to use them. Alright, so now we have that bottom lash line smoked out. Now, I want to give the inner corner a little bit of pop of color, so I'm going to add yellow, and I'm going to use the one from the Morphe palette, and with my same pencil brush, I'm just going to apply this into the inner corner. See how this yellow is a little bit more like a banana color, and this is a little bit lighter and has that sheen, so there is a difference, but not much. Okay. Now for the inner corner highlight, I'm taking my favorite glow kit of all time. It's the Nicole Guerrero one. I know you're probably tired of me using it, but I mean, I love it. And if you don't got it, if you don't got it, wow, that's so Mexican. If you don't have it, you should get it. So I'm going to take Forever Lit and Daydream on the pencil brush that I just used and apply it to the inner corner. Ooh, I love it. Now I can't forget the brow bone highlight. I'm again, just using Forever Lit and Daydream. Now for the waterline, I'm just gonna take a nude liner. This is by Rimmel, and it's just a nude coal liner. I don't know. I feel like this look needs a little bit more red. So again, I'm just gonna go in with 
what is this shade called? Bitten. Bitten, that dark maroon reddish color. Just applying it with the pencil brush because it's just a little bit more precise. And I'm taking it into the crease. And I want to make this orange a little bit more vibrant. So I'm just going to pack a little bit more on. And blend those edges out. And I'm going to pack a little bit more yellow as well. For lashes, I'm just going to apply these Kiss Foaming Lashes. And this one is in the shade, not shade, the style Midnight. They're just super wispy and fluffy. Let's see how I like these. I've never used these ones before. I am loving these lashes and for the lips, I kind of wanted to uh, match my lids. I don't know, is this doing too much? Hey, that's me back here. I use my ABH lip palette and I use Primary 3, which is the red shade with a little bit of number 13 on the very outer corner. Then I use a little bit of number 7, this bright orange shade right here. And then I transitioned it in with the primary number four, which is a yellow shade, and it gave me this lip color. And if you want to see a tutorial or a video on how to do the perfect ombre lip, just let me know. It's really simple. It's not hard. Um, but yeah, this is the finished look, guys. I am loving it. I just need my mojito, and I need to be in Cancun or at a beach. So yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this look. Let me know in the comments below on what you want to see next. And don't forget to like this video if you like this video. And um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.